This is day four of Wonder Junction Science, riding the rails. So, as you can guess, a lot of Wonder Junction has to do with the trains. So this was my personal favorite. Uh, this one is going to teach the kids about when the trains were being built transcontinental and about the special way that the wheels have to be made on a train for it to stay on the tracks. Because after all, trains do not have steering wheels. Okay, so I made my own train wheel sets. These are three sets of train wheels. And what I did is for the white parts, it's just PVC pipe. And for the red caps, these are just caps that I ordered from a supply store like Granger. And at first, I would use glue to attach the caps. Some need to be with both sides tapered smaller to the outside, like, th like this one. And others need to be with the larger side to the outside. So tapered that way. We found after the first rotation that having just glue on there was not keeping them together. If they were hitting the floor at all, uh, they would come apart. So we went back and we added electrical tape to secure the red caps onto the white PVC. Um, it doesn't matter if they're red, you can use whatever caps you can find, anything of that shape. So, we asked the children, here are three sets of train wheels. This one, the wheels would be the same diameter, inside and out. This one, the diameter would get larger towards the outside. And this one, the diameter would get smaller toward the outside. And we asked them, well, which one do you think is on a train? And then we gave them the chance to just get down on the floor. We actually ran this one down on the floor and try working with all of these different setups of train wheels. So the first setup um, is a great way to illustrate Newton's laws of inertia. Um, body in motion stays in motion, body at rest stays in rest until acted on by an outside force. These train wheels are going to be going straight and they're gonna wanna keep going straight. So let's have a look right off the tracks, okay? Then you can ask the kids, okay, well, what do you think? Do you think having this outside edge bigger would help it to stay on the tracks? And so they try that one and nope, it went off the tracks as well. Here is the magical situation. Okay, so on this one, when you're going straight and you come to a curve, it tends to want to push these wheels to the outside. Well, the outer wheel is now at a larger diameter. The inner wheel of the curve is at a smaller diameter. So the outer one actually goes farther and actually makes the turn, okay? This is the setup on train wheels. So let's see. You see how it turned? It went right on, right, right down the track. So that was day four, riding the rails. This is the second experiment for day four in Wonder Junction, and it is called Pushy Plates. Now, this one is about a natural wonder of the world, which is Mount Everest. So um, considering how it was formed when the Indian plate and Eurasian plate combined after the flood, they were moving at a pretty good clip and it made the mountains. So uh, the kids are going to experiment with a mandarin orange or some sort of an orange. You will have these pre-cut uh, before they come in so we don't need any children losing a finger. So you just need a half of an orange and then you're gonna peel a little bit of the peel off and you're, one, you're gonna wanna have two sections of peel. So I'm just gonna break this one in half and now I have two sections that I can put right back on where they were and just have the kids feel, okay? You can kind of move them around. The plates, the tectonic plates that the crust of the earth is on are actually movable on that liquid mantle that's below them. So they're just going to 
um, do some experimenting with seeing the different kinds of movements that can happen. They can try pulling apart. They can try going side by side, which is what the San Andreas Fault does. Uh, and they can try, sometimes the plates will come together and go up like a mountain. Sometimes one will subduct under the other, and then you also get some mountains. So this one was really about the kids just getting to know what the crust of the Earth is, is like and how it's sitting on those tectonic plates. So this was day four pushy plates. <laughs>